plant the planet now has two parts, or they have two parts. The one part being the foundation, and the other part um, being the plant the planet um, executive, or international, as we would like to call it. Um, but these two organizations, while well, well, completely separate, still have the same mission and still have the same vision. So the aim is obviously to work together um, as closely as possible. So before we can get into the discussion of how exactly we want to shape um, Plan for the Planet International, our executive part of Plan for the Planet, um, we would like to discuss the vision and mission that Plan for the Planet, the Plan for the Planet Foundation has discussed in recent months, and then see if it applies to all of us, um, uh, applies to both parts of Plan for the Planet, so based on that, we can then go forward. But before that, I'd like to quickly um, review what we just discussed beforehand. We have the in initiative in future in addition to the Plan for the Planet Foundation. They're legally separate but work together. For instance, the foundation owns the logo rights of Plan for the Planet. Naturally, they uh, make them available to all the Plan for the Planet clubs. Um, did I? Initiative. Initiative. And what did I say? International. International. Sorry, the Plan for the Planet Initiative. They make it available to all of the Plan for the Planet clubs, but the Plan for the Planet clubs can then not make them available to other people. Right? They can, plan for the Planet clubs cannot allow companies, for instance, to use the Plan for the Planet logo. But if a company wants to use the logo for promotions or anything like that, they have to talk to the Plan for the Planet Foundation. And we, we have this policy so that we can make sure that, um, not, yeah, that, that not everyone can use the logo and we have control. So um, we can keep the value of our Plan for the Planet brand. So as I quickly um, touched on about two months ago, the Plan for the Planet Foundation sat down for a two-day workshop in order to establish what the Plan for the Planet vision and Plan for the Planet mission is. And we have to decide whether these things apply to us as well. So what do we mean when we um, say vision? Um, according to this definition, um, it addresses the members, employees, and is oriented towards the future. So the ideal condition of our initiative. So what do we um, do? Um, what do we do today? What do we want to be like in five or ten years? What will always be important to us, even if we are in the middle of an economic crisis? Um, and yeah, which, which values will we still represent in such situations? And what, what are the advantages of Plan for the Planet compared to other organizations that might be involved in similar, similar things? So these are the statements um, we came up with and then also got, um, yeah, ranked them through these little um, orange dots. And I'd like to go through them with all of you. And please comment if you disagree or if you think we forgot something in this process. The first one is, the world's children and youth are tackling global challenges as a global family. Then the tree counter brings together all planting activities worldwide and is creating transparency and stimulus. By the way, we're still in the beta version of our tree counter, but we took a big step this week and we'll discuss that later, later during the youth summit. Then, we are planting trees to offset CO2 emissions. As a contribution to securing the survival of humankind, the world's children have convinced the world to plant trees as carbon stores. Wood creates long-term prosperity by creating jobs in afforestation, sustainable forestry, and woodworking industries. So we're really putting an emphasis here on the fact that in addition to planting trees, we also have to use trees. We have to use forests, which is a very important idea that we express at Plant for the Planet that many other environmental organizations might not necessarily stress as much as we do. And we believe that's important because if you use wood, for instance, for construction, then the carbon that the, that's stored in the, in the tree will also be stored in the wood used in construction. And if you build with, with wood, you ne that necessarily means that you're not building with concrete, which would have produced a, a lot of CO2 um, when created. And the next aspect is we offer global scalable services in the following fields, employment of children and youth, emotional connection to decision makers, 
promotion of exchanges or networking of these uh, um, change makers, appreciation for trees and wood, and belonging to a cool movement. <laughs> That's a major part. And then we are the leading organization about among children and youth in the fight for the survival of today's children. And the second part is the mission, which we have defined as um, address to the partners. So what does the initiative stand for? Um, and it's more accurate in the present than the vision. And the purpose of the mission is of the mission and the organization um, pursuit. So what do we want to see by our partners? And what should the partners trust us to be loyal? Why should the partners trust us to be loyal? So these are the statements we came up with. We offer children a platform and networking opportunities, like the Youth Summit naturally. We plan trees to offset CO2 emissions. We encourage children in the long term on an ongoing basis. We empower children peer to peer. We turn children into confident speakers, which is at the, at the core of Plants of the Planet. We're not just about tree planting, but essentially about sharing the message and getting everyone around the world involved and to share our ideas. And we believe in children as independent multipliers, and everyone can easily participate in our global movement. And we children and youth are planting for our survival. It's not about saving the polar bear, but it's about saving our own future. We need the most highly motivated and most highly committed, simply the best. We offer our partners a platform for effective public relations. We make sustainability cool. We are something, we're doing something worthwhile, and we're looking for long-term partners who take their commitment seriously and want to work hand-in-hand -hand with us. Which means essentially that, that if we work together with companies, um, that um, it's, it's important to us that we establish long-term partnerships with them. That we only work together with companies if it gives us the possibility to make these companies more sustainable. Which is uh, very important in our ongoing um, in negotiations with different partners. So these are the uh, vision and mission statements created. Do you have any suggestions or, or comments about this? But we will, we will put them up outside and be able to discuss them throughout the summer.